in my header file, I'm going to add an action. So minus IB action. And we'll call it um, done editing. Uh, we'll just call it done editing. Uh, pass it the ID and sender. All right, and we'll head over to our main file. And in the main file, we'll add this method. So minus sign IB action and done editing. And let's put some code in there. Really, the code is pretty straightforward and simple on this. We just need it to tell it to resign the control over the key book, keyboard. So we need to see which, based upon the sender, we're going to tell it to resign the control over the keyboard. So sender, resign, first responder. Now that we have created done editing, we've got the resign of the first responder, so we need to attach this method to our text fields. So going back to our view, and here's my view. Inside our view, we want to did end on exit for each of these text fields. So I'm going to create the connection of did end on exit so when they click outside of the exit field, we're going to be able to go to done editing. I'll do that for both text boxes. There we go. And now when I run the the little application. I can type information in, click someplace else. When I hit return, it will leave. It's telling it I'm done. Now the problem is in our number field, we do not have a return button, so we're not able to click someplace else. So instead, we're going to add a button to the background so that when they click somewhere in the background, it will automatically resign it for the program. So let's go back to our code and inside our header file we're going to add another IB action. This one for background click. There we go. So save this and we'll go over to our main file and we'll add another method for the background click. Right. And in this, we just simply need to call each of our, uh, or release each of our fields. All right, and that should get us to the point where we're now ready to go over to our interface builder and set up a button for being able to handle all of this. To do this, I need to bring up back my library and we're going to add a button and just simply make it the size of the screen. There we go. And once we've got the size set, we can tell it to touch up inside over to our file owner and we're going to set it for background click. There we go. And one last thing, go to our layout and send the button to the back so it's now behind. Now the only thing that might be a little annoying um, is it's going to change the color when somebody actually clicks on it. It'll flash a little bit, but we can play with text color and shadowing and things like that um, to, to take care of how it handles the actual view with the click. So I'm going to save what I've done and go ahead and do a run and build. Now I can put in my information and when I click outside anywhere on the screen it will release. Want the keyboard back, just click inside your areas. Want to get rid of it, click anywhere on the screen that's not the keyboard and it'll dismiss it. So that's a nice simple methodology for pulling up your keyboard. Of course there's many different ways we can do this with our UI controller but this is one simple method for dealing with text boxes and dismissing and displaying the keyboard. 
As always, if you'd like more information, you can go to burtonsmediagroup.com. We've got a lot of tutorials on using Android, iPhone, iPad, Corona, and we're adding more material all the time.